In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Do you know the three conditions that are required to receive Holy Communion properly? Well, if you don't, listen and learn. First condition is you have to believe that the Eucharist is truly and substantially the body, the blood, the soul, and the divinity of Jesus Christ. Once the ordained minister, the priest, consecrates the host by saying the words that Jesus said, take and eat, this is my body, take and drink, this is my blood, do this in memory of me, that bread and wine are transformed, it's called transubstantiation, into the, the body, the blood, the soul, the divinity of Jesus Christ. The second condition is, you, you are to receive the, the Eucharist worthily, you have to be in the state of grace. That means if you commit a mortal sin, and there are three conditions for mortal sin. Grave matter, full knowledge, full consent to the will. For example, Holy Mass. If you miss Holy Mass on purpose, that's grave matter. You know that you have to go to Holy Mass on Sunday. And third, you purposely, because of your own fault, have decided not to go to Mass on Sunday. Those three conditions constitute what is called a mortal sin. And if you have committed a mortal sin, you cannot receive communion until first you have gone and received absolution in the sacrament of reconciliation. In the third condition for receiving Holy Communion properly, is the Eucharistic fast. Years ago it was from midnight on and then it was changed to three hours. Now the Eucharistic fast is just not eating or drinking anything except water or taking medicine one hour before receiving the Eucharist. So hopefully this instruction is very clear and it will help you understand these are the three conditions to receive the Eucharist well. Belief in the real presence, that the Eucharist is truly the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. Second, you're in the state of grace. If not, first go to confession. And lastly, to do the Eucharistic fast, which would be not eating or drinking anything except water, an hour before receiving the Eucharist. Amen.